So this is September 17, 2012, one year after the occupation of Wall Street and Zuccotti Park at Liberty Square began. Today is the anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. It began in this park when a group of people occupied the, the park with tents, set up a public kitchen, medical staff, and convened their first general assemblies to discuss policies and act on proposals that were considered on by the entire Occupy movement. You can see there are probably about an estimated 3,000 people here reoccupying Ducati. They're not staying here permanently, but they've come from all over the country in a symbolic reoccupation of this area. This, this is actually a private park, but it's for public access. And there are police barricades all around the people, only being admitted at narrow entrances. There are perhaps 25 to 30 motorcycle police out front. The press is here. The police have completely ringed the park surrounding it, keeping an eye. There are also a lot of plainclothes police officers and security personnel inside keeping an eye on things. But there's really not too much to keep an eye on. It's a fairly peaceful, non-violent. There are a lot of press here interviewing people. I see the New York Post is here. I've seen CNN, ABC, CABS, all the major medias are here. As I do a 360 degree circle of the park, it's getting past 3 p.m. on this Monday afternoon. At 3.30 p.m., there's a scheduled march to the financial district, Wall Street, and at that time, everybody is scheduled to leave the park, but it's, it's more less likely that that's going to happen. There's Occupy Carlisle and his better half, live streamer from Occupy DC.